invite you now to accompany us on a short journey through Hollywood, the film capital of the world, a suburb of Los Angeles. It is surrounded itself by suburban towns, Culver City, Beverly Hills, Universal City, and others. In the foreground, you see the Hollywood Bowl, which is the largest open-air arena that nature has been anywhere with perfect acoustic conditions. Hollywood Bowl has a seating capacity of 25,000 people. In the summer months of each year, the symphonies under the stars are presented here by world-famous conductors. How the people live in Hollywood, either in bungalows or apartment houses, we show you next. The California bungalows and apartments are provided with all the latest conveniences, the most modern found anywhere electric cooking apparatus, automatic refrigeration, and everything else you could think of. As for the style of architecture, we find the Spanish prevailing, but we also find many other types, as you will see in various portions of the city. The foothills of Hollywood are covered by luxurious homes and the occupants have an unobstructed view for a distance of 25 miles to the ocean. In addition to the usual Spanish style prevailing in this region, we also find Old English, French, German, and other periods of architecture, intermixed with the famous palm trees of California. see one of the many churches of Hollywood. This is of modern Greek architecture. Here is one of vertical Gothic, like the famous cathedrals of the old world. And here is one of colonial architecture. We also find many of the Spanish mission types. Here we see the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce building with an architectural style all its own. And now we pass the Hollywood Athletic Club. Here is one of the numerous miniature golf courses provided for the denizens of the movie capital. We take you now to Hollywood Boulevard to show you the Hollywood Hotel. Then down the renowned thoroughfare of the world's film colony. And we see the life and hustle as we pass the theaters and many fine buildings. Brothers Theater, atop which we find one of the broadcasting stations even heard to the East Coast. We see the famous Lemley Corner on Vine Street and Hollywood Boulevard, for which a million dollars has been refused. Here we see the celebrated Brown Derby restaurant, where some of the prominent film stars meet every day. And next we see Henry's, the restaurant in which Charlie Chaplin is one of the steady patrons and interested parties. The owner is one of his oldest and most trusted friends. Next we go to the main building of the American Legion in Hollywood and admire its modernistic style. In one of the beautiful parks of Hollywood, a monument has been erected to the late Rudolph Valentino. And there the natives take us just to prove to us that Hollywood does not forget its film stars. This young lady shows you one of the latest things in evening attire. Paris was once the point of origin for fashion, but nowadays Paris can only send hints to Hollywood. 
for the rest of the continent looks to the motion picture screen for real information about those. Now that evening is here, suppose we go to a world premiere held at Grauman's Chinese Theater. A first showing in Hollywood is an event of worldwide interest. We see the brilliant illumination of the traffic congestion, and presently we'll see the stars as they talk into the microphone upon arrival, so that the less fortunate people who are unable to attend this premiere can hear what's taking place over the radio in their own homes. Thousands upon thousands of dollars are spent upon the decoration and the lights for these events, Perhaps it's in keeping because the pictures they advertise cost millions. The first celebrity we see is Bessie Love. Then Sally O'Neill. Edward G. Robinson, the famous character actor. Carl Emley Sr and none other than Gloria Swanson. At this premiere, there are no passes to be had, and everybody attending must pay the price of $5 per ticket. Everybody who is anybody is here, and the gorgeous display of clothes is enough in itself to warrant attendance.